A dispatcher has just reported that there are customers without power in part of an underground residential distribution, or URD system. This situation could have resulted from a fault in a URD cable. If it's determined that there is a faulted cable, the fault will have to be located and the cable dug up and repaired. You may be part of a crew whose job it is to verify there is an actual fault in a cable and to locate it so that appropriate repairs can be made. In this program, we'll look at two basic types of test equipment commonly used for fault location in URD cable. We'll see how one type is used to locate a fault in primary URD cable and how another type is used to locate a fault in secondary URD cable. Fault locating is a skill that takes practice to develop and refine. With enough practice and experience with your company's test equipment, you can take the basics you learn here and develop the ability to locate faults quickly and accurately. A fault is a failure in a cable that interrupts normal current flow. Faults can take the form of electrical shorts, grounds, or opens. In this program, we'll deal with ground faults since they're the most common types of faults found in URD cable. Now, most ground faults result from a break in the cable's insulation. The break provides an accidental path for current flow from the cable's conductor through the insulation to ground or a structure connected to the ground. Faults in URD cable can be caused by many things, such as failure of the insulation due to excessive voltage stress, or damage when someone accidentally digs into the cable, or just the gradual deterioration of insulation over time. Ground faults in primary URD cables will usually cause a protective device to de-energize a portion of the circuit. This ensures the cable and other equipment aren't damaged any further. When the protective device operates, customers fed by the primary circuit lose power. The cable has to be dug up and repaired to bring customers back to normal service. 